Hi there, in this video we're going to go through an advanced join in Alteryx. One of the limitations of the join tool that comes with Alteryx is that it doesn't do conditional joins or theta joins. Uh, sometimes I'll just call them a little bit more complicated joins. So uh, we're going to demo that here. I've got some sample data that we'll run through and uh, build out one of these advanced joins. In Alteryx, we'll start a new workflow here and uh, I'm going to bring in some data here. I have two Excel files that I'm going to bring in. So uh, let's go ahead and drop two input modules on there. Uh, I'm going to zoom into this workflow a little bit so we can see it clear. Uh, let me head over to the Excel spreadsheet. So I have um, I have a spreadsheet of patients. So I have, coming from the healthcare background, uh, have three patients here, fictional patients, that I've created uh, with an admit date and a discharge date here. So just for the month of November. And then I've got some orders data here. Uh, we'll just call it medication orders, all fake stuff. And uh, I have a corresponding patient ID and orders ID for each order, and then the date that the order uh, was entered. And what I'm, what I'm interested in this make-believe scenario, this fake data set here, is just to pull in the orders that occurred during a patient's visit. So uh, each, each patient was here only in November, so I would only want these green ones to show up in my output. I don't want the ones that, were, that are uh, before or after uh, their visit. So that's the data set there. I'm going to close out these Excel spreadsheets uh, so they're not open while we're working inside Alteryx. So let's go ahead and do those two. So we'll take the first one will be that patient data here. And we'll take that patient spreadsheet. And then uh, we'll go and we'll get the orders data also. And we'll take the order sheet here. All right, so I've got I've got those two items in here. Uh, I'm just going to drop a browse after them just so we can see what it looks like uh, when we process it the first time. I'm going to put this one above it and this one below it. Uh, let's just run it and see how it looks when it comes out. So let's do the patients. Uh, looks good. I'm just going to confirm that the admit date and discharge date did come over as date. They did. Uh, and then for the orders, we'll do the same thing. Just make sure the order date came over as a date. All right. So Let's go over to the join section here and uh, we see that there's the regular join tool and um, I've downloaded a tool called advanced join and uh, to get this tool there's um, an advanced join in the gallery so if you go to gallery.alterx.com I'll post the link in the description also uh, you can download the advanced join tool and install it into Alteryx, the instructions on how to install it are in the description there. It's very easy to install the macros inside Alteryx. So I have that macro in there, or that uh, that tool, so let's go ahead and, uh, and bring it in. And uh, so I have an A input and a B input, so we'll take the A and we'll connect the patients, and B will connect the orders, and then we'll go ahead and, and uh, start configuring the tool. So uh, you have two options, a conventional join or a cross join. We're going to do a conventional join uh, with the condition uh, added to it. So I have patient ID in both sets of data, and um, I'm going to do an inner join. So I want to match on patient ID, but then I have this extra condition in here that I want to add. Uh, and so we'll do the square brackets here. And I know that my order date that's coming over from the, uh, the orders data set that order date has to be uh, before or equal to the uh, discharge date that is in the uh, patient's data set. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, and then I have another condition, so we'll do two ampersands here. Uh, the order date also has to be uh, greater than or equal to the admission date. So, or admit date is what it's called. Uh, inside the patient's table. Now, the one drawback here in this tool is that it doesn't have any uh, auto-sense or IntelliSense. It doesn't prompt you for the correct fields when you hit the square brackets like it does in the formula tool. So that feature isn't in here. So you've got to make sure you get the name spelled correctly, you have the right brackets, 
uh, you have the brackets in place and that kind of thing to get it to work. Uh, so that's, that's all that we need um, to do this. So we'll click off of it here. If I spelled things wrong or got the, um, the formula incorrect, I don't believe it's going to give me a warning. You wouldn't see that until, until it aired out. So uh, we'll right click on this tool here and we'll add another browse after it and see if we were able to get this to come out the right way. So let's process it. And you'll see in, in this browse tool then I have the one, uh, one order for each of the patients that corresponds with uh, the order date. And I set it to, to the, today's date, the date of the video. Um, but they were admitted in the month of November and their orders show up here. So that gives you a, a real basic sense of how to use this tool. Uh, since the join tool doesn't allow you to, to do conditional joins uh, within your data stream.